Welcome to part 1 of Easy HTML in Canvas, where we look at the HTML tags that mark course pages behind the scenes in the Canvas HTML editor. This knowledge sets the stage for parts 2 and 3 ahead where you'll learn how to create and modify columns and tab pages in Canvas. So, let's get started with HTML tags. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext refers to all text and media content in a browser. Markup refers to the marks and descriptions that tell browsers how to display content. And language refers to the set of rules governing the use and the format of markup descriptions. Markup language is the pertinent point here because HTML tags mark content by type. For example, behind the scenes on any web page, tags mark all content. Headings are marked with an H tag, the letter H between pointed brackets, and each heading gets an H tag. Paragraphs are marked with P tags, and images get an image tag. This brings us to tag format. Tag format is important because tags mark the beginning and the end of content. Therefore, each tag has an opening form that marks the beginning of the content and a closing form that marks the end. Tagged content requires both an opening tag and a closing tag for the browser to display content correctly. Back on any web page, the H tag we looked at is the opening form, and the closing tag at the end of the heading simply adds a forward slash. All opening H tags have their counterpart closing tags. The P tags each have a closing tag and the image tag has its own closing tag. Next, we'll look at page content in Canvas and compare it to what we see in the Canvas HTML editor. But, before we do that, let's recap our key points. HTML tags mark the beginning and end of browser content. Tagged content needs both an opening and a closing tag. And the three tags we've covered so far are the H tag, the P tag, and the image tag. Now we'll look at these tags in Canvas. In the default rich content editor in Canvas, when we put content onto a page, HTML tags are added automatically. To see how this works, we'll add an image, a heading, and text, and then view it in the HTML editor. First, we'll add a banner image and make it accessible. Then our heading. We'll make that an H2. Finally, we'll add some text. To see the tags, click the tag icon at the bottom of the editing window and enter the HTML editor. And you can see our image has an image tag. The heading is between H tags. And the text paragraph is between P tags. Another tag we use daily in Canvas is the list tag. List tags are needed to make ordered and unordered lists. There are only three list tags, the ordered list, the unordered list, and the list item tag. Now we'll add both types of lists in the rich content editor and then view them in the HTML editor. Here's our ordered list and our unordered list in the HTML editor. And we can see the list tags have been added for us. OL for the ordered list, UL for the unordered list, and LI for each list item. The last tag you need to know is one we use to embed media in Canvas. Such as video, interactives, or slide players. And this is the iframe tag. Let's look at the iframe tag in context. We'll get an embed code from a YouTube video and put it into our Canvas page. Back in Canvas in the HTML editor, we'll paste the embed code at the bottom of the page. I'll put it between P tags for easy styling later. Now we can see the iframe tag just inside the opening P tag. Back in the rich content editor, the video is left justified by default. 
If you understand these tags and how they're used, you're ready for the remaining videos in this series that show you how to create columns and modify tabbed pages. The key points you'll want to remember from this video are that opening and closing tags mark the beginning and end of content in HTML, and seven tags hold most or all course content in Canvas. The heading tag, the paragraph tag, three list tags, the image tag, and the iframe tag. With this knowledge in hand, you are ready for the next video in this series where we introduce the diff tag and show you how to create columns. See you there.